Hello everyone, MC Crafter here, and I haven't done this in a really long while. Like, I don't even know when the last video of this was. But yeah, today we are doing another tutorial. Ah, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. But um, yeah, another tutorial, haven't done these in a while. This one is gonna be um r related to red, uh, I mean command blocks and commands and stuff like that. So yeah, let's get onto it. So today I'm going to be showing you the tile command that lets you do this: title and subtitle. So um, basically it's pretty simple. So you have to do title, you can do slash title, but you don't really need to do that in the command block. So that's like the base command, then at p, which means nearest player. Then you can either choose title or subtitle for the third t thing. Like you saw, the top one is title, the bottom one is subtitle. And then you need to place a bracket. It has to be a bracket, it can't be anything else. You have to write text, colon, quotation mark, whatever you want it to say, and then close off the quotations and another bracket, basically, to do the basic title or subtitle, like that. Um, you could also, like, for example, let me just show you. Here, title player, JSON. Basically, the JSON is um the text. Like for example, this is the JSON basically. Hi, basically. So that would work. Because um, yeah, it just does. But this doesn't work. Like it's the same thing as this one. It just doesn't work because. If you wanna like one word JSONs work just like this, but if you have more than one word, you have to add the um, text this thing for it to actually work. So that does work. So yeah, basically the JSON like I don't really know how to explain it, but yeah. So anyway, this one wouldn't work. And do you know why? Here it says linear true to accept malform JSON at line one, column seven. That's basically this, the parenthesis. Why? Because it's just going over this, it needs to be a bracket, or else it won't work. And that one's too big for the screen. Brackets. But yeah, so, um, it probably will get boring to just use, like, all of these are just white. So yeah, it would be boring to just have white titles everywhere, so let's make it a different color. It's so colorful. Basically how you do this is you just do a text thing, blah blah blah. And then after the last quotation, you do comma, col color, colon, whichever color you want. There's 16 of them you can put in here, then close out the bracket. So right now I have gold as a color. And here is an example of all the 16 colors that you can have. So there's black, dark blue, dark green, dark aqua, dark red, dark purple, gold, gray, dark gray, blue, green, aqua, red, light purple, yellow, or white. Like, you don't really need to put it on white because that's the default color. Basically, what I showed on the screen is basically how you do it. 
how you put in the command block color black color if you want if there is a color with two words you have to put them what's it called I forgot the word wow I'm stupid underscore between the two words for it to work because if it's a space it wouldn't work unterminated object yep so we have to have that let's just cut this off because we don't need to go through this again but yeah um basically the last thing is adding effects to your title or subtitle like making it bold basically how you do that is the same thing like color you put a comma after the last quotation then you do a bold colon true or f well you don't really need to do false because that's the default thing you could do also do italics or is it without the s it's without the s yeah you could do both if you just put a comma after this basically for all this I didn't say this but th there's no spaces bold true uh, parenthesis okay there we go you got outside color let's do like green comma So yeah, you could do all of that. You could also put a player name here. I spelled my name wrong. And it would still work. But only for me. If anyone else was here, it wouldn't show up show up for them. But yeah, that's basically the basics about of um the title command slash subtitle command and yeah why isn't this working now oh because the uh, subtitle part only needs a title with it yep yeah so that's another thing if you want a subtitle there has to be a title on the screen but yeah, so anyway, that's basically everything I have to say about the title command. So, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.